Hey there, this is Eric Louvier. Welcome to this episode. Listen, right now I want to talk about making a bunch of money and one of the biggest insights that I ever discovered that just rocked my world, changed everything, changed my paradigm, changed my life, changed my finances, changed my whole attitude, everything. Changed my routine each day, changed the way I looked at the market, changed the way I looked at my business, changed the way I looked at myself. This is a big insight. I want to unpack it and deliver it to you right now. So pay close attention. So listen, making a bunch of cash and getting high ticket clients is about trust. It's about getting the marketplace and your followers, your peeps, your people to know, like, and trust you. But think about trust. They trust you because they have seen your stuff. They trust you because they have seen your stuff everywhere. They trust you because they've bought your stuff before. They trust you because they've watched your videos. They trust you because they've listened to your podcast over and over again. They, they buy your stuff because they read your post. They buy your stuff because they're in your Facebook group and been there for a while. Even though they may not like, even though they may not comment, even though they may be lurkers, they know you, they like you, they trust you. They've been on your chat, telegram, signal group. They read your tweets. They went to your workshops and seminars. They read your books, your eBooks, your cheat sheets. They printed out your action guide. They heard from you, from other people recommending you or talking about you and so on and on and on, on the forums everywhere. So what happens is you start out by needing to generate cash. I need to generate cash. I need to make money in my side hustle. I need to get more clients. I need to expand my brand. I need to make more cash and pay the bills. But what happens is a lot of people are out there thinking sell, 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 sell. And I'm all about that, just sell baby. But you gotta do it in the right way or it's not gonna work. So what I see is I see a lot of people that you know, show up on my desk and they want to make money online. And, and all they're looking to do is take, 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 right? I need money. So they're trying to sell. They're trying to advertise. They're trying to knock people over the head and get them to buy because they need the money. And that's where their focus is at. And sure, I'm all about selling. I'm all about closing deals. I'm all about putting offers out there. Don't get me wrong. However, they haven't built up any trust in the marketplace. They haven't pre-framed anyone. They haven't turned anyone on to them. So there's no trust. So people don't trust them. So they don't buy. It makes it harder and harder to convert. Making money online and getting high ticket clients is all about traffic and conversions. You have to get the traffic and leads coming in. You have to convert the traffic and leads into paying customers, cash flow. And cash flow is addictive. But if you're not getting any leads and you're not turning those leads on to you, then they're not going to buy. This happens when you get a bunch of leads that flood in. Like you see a lot of people that go out there and like, I just bought a million people email database and I uploaded it to my autoresponder. I'm going to be blasting people all year and I'm going to make a billion dollars. And it's like, that's not going to work because they don't know you. They don't like you. They don't trust you. And that's called spam. All right. So it's not going to work. It's not going to work very well at all. Okay. So you grow your followers by, you know, thinking about it as like true loyal followers. Okay, you don't need a million people on an email database. It's a million wasted people and you wasted your money. But you, you start out with 100 loyal followers or 50 or 30. And you start building from there. 100 loyal followers at high ticket can make you $100,000 a year. Then you build it to 500 loyal followers, then 1,000. But all it takes at high ticket is 100 to 1,000 Loyal followers who know, like, and trust you, trust you, they trust you to make a lots of windfalls in the high ticket game. It doesn't take a million people following you on TikTok to make any cash. That That's not where the money is at. I get a lot of people, like, I remember being on this um, clubhouse thing, and there was this uh, person doing a clubhouse, and there was a ton of people on there, and this person was talking like they were hot shots, and this person was an influencer, and this person was like, bragging and you know playing the whole game and had a lot of people following this person had a lot of people on instagram and the socials and you know doing podcast interviews and you know talked a really good game and then i like took the microphone and started sharing some you know stuff because they were talking about something that i knew very well and this person that was running this show that had this influencer asked if they could you know book a call with me so I'm like, okay, this should be great. And I should maybe bring this person on as a client, help them make more money. Or maybe they're, I could learn something from them. I get on the call and it was basically someone who wasn't making 
hardly any money at all. Nothing. Like, this person was like, how do I make money? Show me. I'm like, what? You were bragging on this show like you were hot shot stuff. Like, you knew your stuff. Like, you were making fortunes. Like, you had all these clients. And, like, you're talking like this huge authority, like some celebrity. And that yet you're, like, asking me to help you make money. Like, it was just like, what's what's going on here? And I realized, like, yeah, you know, this person wasn't, he was, didn't have all the dots connected, right? They may talk a good game. They may look the part. They may act the part. But they weren't connecting all the dots to actually make the cash. And even though this person had some followers, this person wasn't doing a very good job of converting those followers into cash flow. So, there, so there's a few different things there. Like I could take that person and, and turn them into a whole lot of money. But they didn't even need that many followers because they already had enough people that trusted them to make money. You see? So all it takes is you know 100 to 1,000 followers who trust you to make as much as a million dollars a year. Think about it like this. If you got 100 clients in a year at $5,000 each, just 100 clients at $5,000 each, that's $500,000 you would make that year. That's the top 1% in the United States of America. If you have only 25 clients in a year, just 25, who pay, it's just 25 people, okay? You don't, maybe out of 100 loyal followers, you could get those 25 people. Out of uh, 25 clients at 10 grand each is $250,000 a year. That's a quarter million dollars off of two, 25 people. They trust over time, period. They trust you over time, period. But it's over their time. It's, it's on their clock. It's in their journey when they develop that trust for you. D does that make sense? It's not on your timeline. We would all like that to be the case because I would like everyone to trust me in about an hour. Okay, and then fork over high ticket cash to me for me to help them. But that's not the case. But with some people, it is the case. Are you following me? Are you tracking this? So let me let me let me let me break this down to you. People are going to trust you based on their own timeline. So for example, if you meet someone at a barbecue, you're having some Shiner Bach beer or some bourbon, you know, plowing through some burgers, some brisket if you're in Texas, and then all of a sudden you start talking to this person and they're like, I feel like I've known you my whole life. And they just trust you right away. Here's the keys to my Ferrari. Go ahead and give it a spin. Like they, they, they trust you instantly. The vibe was there. The chemistry was great. You know that feeling. Well, you know, and other people, maybe they don't like you at first and it takes 10 years before they finally come around and trust you. Like it's their timeline, not yours. Well, it's the same thing in the marketplace. You, you, could, you could be doing all kinds of stuff and providing value out in the marketplace and building trust. And some people are just not going to trust you. It's going to take a long time. Other people will trust you pretty quickly. Others, you know, maybe it takes a couple of weeks. Some takes a, a, a month. Some takes 10 years. Some takes an hour. So trust might take an hour, a day, a week, years, years, decades. But at some point, each high ticket client got to where they trusted you. And they slapped down 10 grand or 35 grand without blinking an eye because they already trust you. I mean, think about someone right now, some influencer, some expert, some pro online who you severely trust. Does anyone come to mind other than me? I mean, can you think of someone else other than me that, that you like severely trust? It's so like, I don't know, maybe Anthony Robbins. I mean, he's you see him everywhere all the time for many, many years. I mean... I, maybe I would pay Anthony Robbins pretty quickly with a bunch of my money because I've followed him since I was like in college, like many, many moons ago, like 30 years ago. So I got my people I trust. Do you got the people that you trust that you've been following for a long time who you would give a lot of money to? Well, what if it's someone you've never heard of before, never seen before, and you just found out about them about 30 minutes ago and they're pitching you at some $20,000 program and they're all salesy and desperate to get you Get your money and to just shove it down your throat. Buy my stuff. It's twenty grand. What's wrong with you? But you don't. You just you just found out about them thirty five minutes ago. Do you trust them? Likely not. Well, it's no different for your peeps. It's no different for your followers. It's no different for your clones. However, if you've consumed their stuff and followed this person for a while and know that they are legit and you got value from them already. 
And then you're more likely to slap down 10 grand, 30 grand, 55 grand. You got me? It's about trust. When you show up each day building trust in the marketplace, you're just dispensing trust every day. Some of, you're just sowing the seed. Like in the Bible, you're just walking around sowing the seed. Some of that seed is going to fall on the fertile ground and produce a harvest. And some of that seed, the birds are going to get, nothing's going to come about that seed. But you just keep sowing the seed every day. You just, you got your big bag of seeds and you're just walking around throwing seeds on the ground, you know, trying to plant your harvest. But some of the seeds is going to get choked out by the thorns. Some of the seeds are going to land on rock and not turn into anything. Some of the seeds are just duds. They're not going to grow. Some of the seeds the birds are going to get. But some of those seeds are going to land on a fertile ground and create a bunch of crops for you. A big harvest that you get to reap. The rewards of your consistent, keyword consistent, labor or effort or work. It's a consistency. And so each day you show up building trust in the marketplace. This is what I tried to do. This is what I learned. This changed my life. So I get people who say they've followed me for years. I've been following you since the Job Crusher Warrior Forum days back in 2004 and and, and, I, and I've never seen them at all. I've never heard their name. I've never seen them. I never, they never reached out. They never raised their hand. They never replied to an email. They never interacted with me. They're just out there in internet land, just listening, watching me, lurking, stalking me, trusting me, though. And then they show up years later, and they slap down high ticket to become a client. You just show up and you sow the seed, put the seed out there, provide value, take your personality and just throw it out there. Trustworthiness, just throw it out there and people will show up and they will grow to trust you. It'll start out with 10 people, then it'll go to 30, then it'll go to 100, then it'll go to 1,000, then it'll go to 10,000. I remember when I first started doing this, it changed my life. I'm telling you this because I, I, I'm, not, I'm not pointing my finger at you. I'm just saying like, this changed my life. This is what I learned how to do. Okay, and I remember when I first started dispensing value out into the marketplace, there was haters. There was people that would like, what do you know? Who are you? And what you? What have you ever done? Like they, there were people that saw me as their equal or something. And then here I am raising, stepping up onto a pedestal and I start preaching. Wait, wait, wait. Who are you to get up on the pedestal? Get back down here in the crowd with us. You haven't earned the right to be on stage yet, right? Well, I plowed my way on stage and I just started teaching. And I ignored the haters. And pretty soon, the people, not pretty soon, right away, instantly, I got followers. And they started buying all of my stuff. And that provoked more confidence within me to continue to teach and preach and share and help people. I'm, I can't, I'm not for everybody. I'm not everybody's cup of Texas tea. Okay? I'm just not. But for some people... And I have 20 years back in this. Some people are like, I really like that guy. He tells it like it is. He doesn't pull any punches. He's pretty, he's pretty cool. He's kind of fun. He's a little, he's a little weird, but it's all right. And they, they, they follow me and it works. And I'm not everyone's cup of tea. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Just like everyone's not my cup of tea too. There's some people I can't stand. I don't want to listen and learn from everybody. Some people I just cannot handle listening to them getting on my friggin' nerves. Right, but some people I'm like I can listen to this dude or this gal all day long. I remember going to a seminar one time. I was sitting in one of those circle tables, and there's a guy sitting next to me, Ryan, and then and this one speaker was walking around the the tables, and he was going off. I mean, super confident, egotistical dude, but he was just nailing insight after insight after insight. It was fantastic. And and the guy next to me, Ryan, he goes, man, I could listen to this guy all day. That was like, me too, man. This is really my cup of tea, right? Like he was just telling it like it is, just dropping bombs. I loved it and he loved it. So it's like some people you just resonate with, some people you don't. Well, it's the same thing for you. Some people are going to resonate with you and dig your style or whatever it is you're putting out there, whatever value you're providing, and some people aren't. Maybe you're creating software and you're putting it out there. Some people are going to want the software and love it, and some people aren't. It's just the way the game is played. This is the way the universe is made. But you just keep getting out there, sowing the seed, sowing the seed, sowing the seed, sowing the seed, building your followers, providing value into the marketplace, building trust, and people show up, 
and they want to buy from you. So you just show up every day, okay? You show up and sow the seed. Starts out, you know, small and then it grows and it grows and grows, but you're consistent. So, you know, I called to talk to someone about, you know, buying some gold. Like I just called this uh, phone number that was on a website because uh, my friend was like, man, you need to buy some gold, the economy, you know, all this is going on. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to buy some gold. So like I, you know, he recommended this, uh, like, you know, a couple different places he buys gold from. So I called this place, you know, just had it on my phone and there's a 1-800 number, dialed the number, you know, clicked the button, called them. This guy answers and I'm talking to him and he's giving me all this information about gold and the prices and why it's best to buy from them. You know, give me this whole sales pitch and stuff. And I'm like, all right, cool. Let's, let's go for it. And then he's like, all right, what's your full name? And I'm like, Eric Louvier. And he's like, Eric Louvier. And I'm like, yeah, I spell that. I'm like, he's like, Eric, Eric Louvier, like the internet marketing guy. I was like, what? Yeah. And he's like, man, this is Eric Louvier. Dude, I'm a huge fan. I've been on your list for so long. Comes back year, many years ago. My wife was right there too. She, we were driving. So she was hearing this on the, you know, the Bluetooth speakers. She was all like, wow. And I was like, that's pretty awesome, man. It was like, and he's like, oh yeah, man, I've been following you. I'm on your email list. You know, I go back, you know, a long time. I'll never forget that because I was like, wow, that's a small world, right? Small world. And then a neighbor, um, we knew some of the same people and in the industry and he's in the same industry basically. And I'm like, wow, you're it's weird. You live right here on the same street. It's like, it's, it's so he didn't know who I was, but he, we knew a lot of the same people in as vendors. Okay. The suppliers, right. Just supply stuff for us. So it, in this business, so it, what, what the reason why I'm telling you this is that's because it's dropping value. That guy trusts me. Okay. If you build up trust, then you won't be desperate to make a sell. People will hunt you down. It's easier to earn. You get me there? It's easier to earn because they're already pre-sold. They're already pre-warmed up. This is why it's easier to sell high ticket to them because they're like, well, I trust you. Here's 10 grand. Put it here, right? Slap it on a credit card. Let's go. And that, that's, how, that's how it is. It's just trust. But if they don't know you, then they don't trust you. And if they don't have never seen it in you, it's really hard for them to give you more than $7, right? So you're selling a little $7 cheap stuff, wondering why you can't break into the big ticket game. Well, you ain't built up any trust. There's nothing wrong with selling $7 stuff because you can get it's a way to get people to trust you. And then you can upsell them from there. So I get people to say, Eric, man, you know, soon, man, real soon, man, I'm going to buy your high ticket program. I'm going to do it. It's my mission. Don't give up on me, Eric. I'm coming, man. Like, like people tell me that they're going to, they're getting ready to get ready to one day be ready to be ready to buy my program into the future. And that's like, they're incubated. You understand? Homegrown, self-grown, incubated. Eventually they will buy just because someone doesn't buy your high ticket product today. Doesn't mean they won't buy your high ticket program tomorrow or next week or next month or at the end of the year or next year. Or in a few years or in 10 years but eventually they buy your high ticket offer but you don't know you're just sowing the seed you didn't even know they were that close to buying from you until they buy from you understand that's the power of what i'm talking about right now so if you don't build trust you'll constantly be scrambling and hasty about getting your next sell because the wolves are at the door okay you're trying to pay your house and your car payments and stuff so you're operating you know, I'm operating this desperation or lack mentality, you know, this hastiness to, to get a sale. So if you're focused on, you know, what you need and you need to pay the bills, you need to do this, you need to do that, then your, your focus is on that. And it's going to show. It may not show like obviously, but it shows indirectly their spidey sense is going to pick up on this, this desperation in your language, in your voice, in your actions, in your your aggressiveness and all that instead of operating from the confidence because you built up trust within a marketplace that is pretty easy to generate revenue that you need to pay your bills. So you, you have to deposit into the marketplace bank. Do you get what I'm saying? You show up each day and you're going to the marketplace and it's like a bank and you're making your deposits. And as long as you keep making deposits later on, you can make big withdrawals. And those deposits that you're making are multiplying. 
there's a multiplier effect. Like I showed up in 2003 making deposits and I kept on making deposits into the marketplace 20 years later and will continue to make my deposits into the marketplace. And I'm doing it right now with this, with what you're listening to. I'm there. There's someone right now that is listening to me right now. And they're like, dude, this is exactly what I needed to hear. Perfect timing, Eric. Like they're like this. I'm going to listen to more of his stuff like that. There's someone right now feeling that. And this, thousands of people are going to listen to this. But there's, there's at least one person that's going to be like, I didn't need to go fly, find this. I'm going to follow him on, on Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn. I'm going to join his list. I'm going to go to disclosuregroup.com. They're going to go to ericluvier.com, wherever. And I'm, going to, and I'm going to I'm going to start following this dude. I'm going to listen to all his other episodes. I'm going to follow him on YouTube. He's got to have some videos over there. Like this is what someone is saying. One person. All it takes one person. It was worth it to record this. And then, well, guess what? They're going to have trust for me because they see I know my stuff. And they're seeing it from many different places over a long period of time that goes back. Like you can watch videos I recorded 20 years ago. Or not 20 years ago, but like 12, 15 years ago, however long it goes back. And and and, and it's right there. That shows that I've been around a long time. That The trust factor is there. But I'm just showing up making my deposits every day. I'm sowing the seed and some of that seed's gonna, it's value deposits is what it is. So one of my biggest priorities on my GSD list, get shit done list each day is to make my deposits. Each day at work, one of the top priorities on my get shit done list is make deposits, which is what I'm doing right now. Like a minute ago, I was outside watering the plants by my swimming pool. And I had my, you know, coffee cup in my hand. It's the morning. It's kind of chilly outside a little bit. Um, and I'm, I'm walking inside to come into my office to, to do some work today. And I said to myself, self, I got to get my deposits made. Like I started thinking about what I need to do today. I got a webinar later on at one o'clock. You know, I got, I got to do some stuff for David. And I'm like, okay, well, this is my, you know, GSD list. And I, but that's just mental because I'm not in front of my desk yet. I'm walking inside with my coffee cup, my Cayman coffee cup. And I'm like, I, I got to make some deposits today. I get to make deposits today. Okay. I get to go have some fun. I mean, what is that deposit? At? I mean, you're listening to it. I mean, I said to myself, I need to make a deposit. I sat down. Uh, my microphone's sticking in my face, my Joe Rogan microphone. And I and I just and I'm recording for you, so you're listening to it right now. This is the deposit I'm making for today. I'm gonna make some more, but this is one for sure that's getting done because we're recording it right now. You and me, you're listening. I'm recording, so you're putting putting goodwill out there. I'm putting vibes out there. I'm putting my personality out there. I'm putting my value into the marketplace. I'm contributing to my peeps, and this is gonna fall into some fertile ground. I mean, there's at least a hundred people that I would be damn sure they are getting value out of this for sure. If not, if it's just one person, then so be it. And if it's nobody, hell, it helped me to record this. It got me dialed in, so at least I helped me. I sure am learning a lot from myself today on this call. <laughs> no, seriously, like even if nobody got value from it and like no one listened to this podcast and I'm just talking to myself, it's still valuable. I still helped one person, me. So let me, let me give you an example. So like I used to think it was fun to just record stuff. So I would record stuff on the side, right? Because I was always busy, you know, managing my people and doing Facebook ads and, you know, do, just working my business that, you know, anytime I took time to record something for free, like a podcast or a YouTube video or something, or make a post on social media, it was like fun for me. It wasn't considered work. It was just like, you know what, I should record something, put it out there. You know, it should help some people for free. And, and and I'd often find myself doing free content on Fridays. And I never really realized this till my assistant pointed it out many years ago. He's like, hey, man, I noticed like some reason on Fridays you always want to record content. And he's like, you should do it more often because we get like a whole week's worth of, you know, impact because of that content you recorded last Friday. And I'm like, wow, you know, I guess on Fridays, I don't have anything scheduled. 
So back then I would never schedule anything on Fridays because sometimes we were going out of town. Sometimes, you know, I just going to spend that day with my wife, you know, while the kids were in school or something. So for me, it was a free day that I never booked appointments. I never scheduled anything on Fridays and back then. And I ended up recording because it was just fun. So maybe I didn't have anything to do that day. Maybe it was raining or it was cold or something. And I didn't, you know, my wife, you know, wanted to go work out or just not do anything. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to record some content. I don't have any appointments. I don't have a webinar. I don't have anything to do today. So I'm going to do something proactive instead of reactive and record some content. Well, those Fridays became my every days that I worked because I situated my business. So most everything is taken care of for me. I spend my time basically doing a few different things. Making content, you know, like we're doing right now, recording a podcast, making my deposits into the marketplace or into my, my followers, creating marketing materials. I spend time like writing emails to send to my email list or creating a new Facebook campaign ads or, you know, a sales letter or a squeeze page or something, right? So I'll, I spend time creating that because I'm good at it. And then, um, and it makes us a lot of money. And when I outsource it, they're not, they're not as good at it as I am most of the time. Sometimes they're, they're better, but most of the times they're not. And, you know, teaching and is something else that I do. And then sometimes managing my team, but they're pretty self-sufficient. So basically I spend my time creating content like I'm doing right now for free, making my deposits. I spend my time making marketing materials. I spend my time teaching and coaching people. And I spend my time managing my business and my team. That's it. All, a lot of all the little intricacies and moving parts and all that are not taken care of by me. They're taken care of other people. But one of my main priorities each day I work is to create some kind of value deposit to make into the marketplace or to my followers. And if I go all day of working and not doing it, I feel guilty. It's kind of like a lot of people feel guilty for going a day and not working out you know, not, not going to the gym or something. They feel guilty because they didn't do it that day. That's how I feel about not creating content that's free for the marketplace. Whether it's making a Facebook post or, you know, it's sending out a tweet or recording a video or recording a podcast or doing a master class or something. So I ran into so many people out there who never make any deposits into the marketplace. So they have no followers and they build zero trust and they wonder why they're not making any money especially high ticket money. If you're going to charge high ticket fees, like I teach and preach, then you better be building trust in the marketplace and with, to build some trust within a loyal following group of people. Like you could, you could get these people into a Facebook group and just give them value all the time. And they're going to start to know, like, and trust you. And then you have your offer that's high ticket and they start buying it. So there's these people that I get, you know, that show up on my desk, they're just looking to take. I just need to make some money, Eric. I got to pay my bills. I'm behind on my house. They just need to, they, they're, they're just taking. They just give me money, give me money, give me money. And I'm all about selling. Just sell, baby. But in the right way. And they're not giving. It's, it goes like this. Give, give, take. Give, give, take. Give, give, take. It doesn't go like this. Take, 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 take. Take, 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 take. Take, 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 take. Take, take, take. Never, ever giving. Ain't going to work. Value deposits equals trust building. You are turning people on to you. People buy from those they know, like, and trust. They buy from people they're intrigued with or fascinated by or magnetized towards. Like, for example, with Facebook ads, there's always a delay. I hate it. You know, it is what it is, though. But, like, we got a client yesterday, and I'm like, man, this, this client was, was pretty new to me, it sounded like. But they came on board at high ticket. And then I went and searched this person's um, email address in our autoresponder to see how long this person's been following. I was just curious. I look, and it was a month, like almost exactly a month. So it took a month for that person who came from a Facebook ad. It took. Remember I told you earlier, it's on their timeline. It took that person a month before they decided to go ahead and buy the high-ticket program. For whatever reason, maybe they didn't have the money then. They have the money now. Maybe they were waiting for some bonus. Maybe they maybe they had the money, but they just weren't ready yet. Or maybe they didn't trust me yet. Or whatever reason, it took this person a month before they bought. But that's the case a lot because a lot of the Facebook ads leads that we get 
you know, end up not buying until the next month. So we probably average about a month with cold traffic. These are people who never heard of me that we're advertising to on, on Facebook and Instagram. They, they, they click the ad, they opt in, they get something for free. They get my emails all the time. And for whatever reason, it takes them about a month before they slap down high ticket money. Not always, but I noticed it enough to know that that trend happens. So when you run ads, I mean, don't give up so quickly just because they're not buying today, instantly your high ticket thing. You got to keep warming them up to you, turning them on to you, getting them to know, like, and trust you. And so many people ignore this. They don't want to do it. They hate social media marketing. They hate all this. And I get that. I did too. And I do. I don't really like being so public like that with, especially with the, you know, posting and stuff like that. It it, is kind of annoying, but I know that that's how you get people to be turned on to you in today's day and age. So Facebook ads has a delay. That's why you should run ads. I'll show you how to run the ads, but you got to run ads. You know, you got to constantly, if you're going to do it organically, you got to be consistent. And then you start building a following. They start showing up. And when they show up, bill them. When they show up, sell them something. Okay. Constantly make your deposits and make it a priority. Constantly think about working on building trust. Make it a priority. Make your deposits a priority. Build that trust and the high ticket income will come. And it will change your life. All right, I'm done. I'm out of here. That's it. That was awesome. That was fun. See, that was fun. I didn't need, like, I don't need to do this recording. I did it because it was fun. I love it. I love helping people. And if I only helped one person, great. If I helped you, let me know. Send me an email or post a comment here on the podcast somewhere. Give me a five-star rating. Tell a friend about it. Tell your dog about it doesn't matter. Thank you so much. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. I'm out of here. He gone.